Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the Haven Family Farm. Just a quick video today, gonna do it on my phone. Um, I got the uh, Kubota round baler here, backed into the edge of the shop, and um, I've been meaning to put a preservative kit on it for a while, but uh, this year, you know, the budget's been a little bit tough with everything going on, so I wasn't sure if I was going to. Um, so what this video is about here today is just sort of a cheap alternative to those expensive kits. Uh, the one that is on my square baler is a crop care liquid preservative kit. And I think that one was about $1,200. Um, I mean, it's a little bit fancier. It has some, a lot of adjustments and things on it from the cab uh, electronic that you can do and whatnot. Uh, but that was uh, 1200 and I had to install everything. So um, I didn't want to spend that kind of money on this right now, but uh, we've been kind of rushing the rain a little bit so i wanted to try and do something so this is what i came up with uh you can see right here i'm building a bracket uh, to hold the the kit that i bought don't pick on me too much for uh how a redneck farmer fix this looks because i'm just working with the steel that i have but uh, basically we just have some angle iron here there was some holes in the baler already. So I kind of put this together as I was going. You know, I bolted those down, I clamped this piece and then tacked that. And then, uh, you know, tacked this piece on the top. Got everything uh, fairly vertical looking. And then I took it over to the bench and I welded it all up underneath and everything. So that bracket is pretty much done. Uh, there's two pieces that have to go on top that will come out that will support the tank itself and it'll have four holes in it because uh, the tank has holes in the bottom so let me show you what i bought this is uh i think it's a finco or something but uh, that's basically what it looks like it's actually just an atv sprayer um but it has this nice boom right here with the nozzles and uh, the pressure is adjustable it actually has a chart which won't do me a whole lot of good because it's you know based on uh, square uh, either a uh, thousand square foot area or so many gallons per acre so I kind of have to figure out the calculation on my own but the fact that it's adjustable here is the pump the pressure gauge right there so I can uh, kind of adjust that I won't be able to do it from the cab I can turn it on and off from the cab but uh, here's the tank it is just a 20 gallon tank. It's not too big. I didn't want a huge tank because obviously you see where this is going. Um, you know, the net wrap is right behind there. And, uh, you know, I didn't want it to be blocking a whole bunch of my stuff here so I can't see back to what's going on. And that was one of the things I saw about some of the kits that were available. They had bigger round tanks that kind of took up this whole area here in the front. So uh, 20 gallons is not as big as I'd like to have, but uh, underneath the cover on the other side of the baler, you can see how wide that is, is a blank spot. And I'm actually going to put a second tank underneath that cover over there, uh, probably a 15 or 20 gallon. Um, I have to find a specific size. It's got to be kind of a tall vertical tank. Um, so I'll have to order something. That's why I just grabbed this. This was actually from Tractor Supply. So I will have it actually add a second tank underneath that cover so that if I'm doing a long day of bailing, I can just uh, pump it from the extra auxiliary tank to the main tank here in the front. So um, I'm not going to do a you know a step-by-step -step how to. I'm just kind of showing you guys a cheap alternative. This whole pump setup here. Uh, with the the tank and the pressure uh, regulator and the the little boom kit and all the stuff uh, was 289 bucks and I got 10% off that so so far I really haven't spent much <laughs> you know compared to 1200 bucks um, you know I think we can make this work it'll just take a little bit of, of finagling to get the uh, the dosage right but I'm gonna get back to work on this and I will show you uh, the finished product here when I'm done kind of what I did briefly go over it in case anybody's interested Hey, right, welcome back it's another day same video for you we got the frame all painted uh, welded cleaned up all of that and 
it is bolted to the frame. I'm getting ready to go get the tank and bolt it up there. There's just four bolts that come up through. You can see where the holes are drilled there. Uh, again, I'm on my phone, so I can't, I don't have a holder or anything for it. So I'll just kind of have to show you after each step is complete. I don't have any place to really set the phone to show you what I'm doing, but um, I will come back to you here shortly. Okay, so I got a little carried away here. Figured you guys didn't want to see every last little thing. Anyway, we have the power hooked up. I got the uh, flashlight on here. So here's where our power is. Uh, I ran it all the way down and around with the rest of the wires. It goes up into the cab and there's a switch up there. So that's done. And then the hoses, there is not a valve for the hand spray, like the wand. So I had to make a shorty here and just put uh, a big old bolt in there and hose clamp it since I can't turn that one off. And then uh, over here, there's your boom and here is your mixing valve which adjusts your pressure. But why they can't put a valve on that, I mean, I don't know. But uh, then our hose comes down and around, again zip tied, and it comes down to the spray bar which temporarily I have just zip tied to the baler. I still have to cut all my zip ties. But I want to see, that's about as high as I can put it for the moment. And I want to see how it sprays or if I need to put it in a different location. So I didn't want to permanently make brackets and everything until I knew. So now I'm going to put some water in it and uh, test it, make sure it works, see if there's any leaks. Then I can play with the pressures a little bit. Uh, so that's what we're going to do now. Well, this project just keeps getting more and more aggravating. So you see I have this piece off here and I'm working on draining the water out. I'm going to get you up close and see if I can show you here. This is actually broken. So now I'm going to try and Gorilla Glue it. I don't know under pressure. I don't know if it's going to hold. I'm going to send some pictures to the manufacturer um, and see if they'll send me a new tank. But uh, that's pretty disappointing. I put in hours and hours of work on this thing. Uh, just starting to do my testing to come to find out that that stupid thing is broken. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'll get to use it uh, tomorrow or not. And I don't know why my phone's being stupid. But uh, anyway, uh, that might be the end of this video. Uh, stay tuned. I'll let you guys know what happens with the company in the future. Thanks for watching. Um, if I do get to use it some, uh, it will be in a video with uh, the round baler. I will be round baling tomorrow. So, uh, you know, there'll be some info in that video. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.